Got old Mitch in the house today. Instantly with the camera. Oh yeah. We gotta go uh, pull this shitter pump and teach you guys <laughs> something. All right, so this is a dual pump system. Most of the time it's just gonna be one. Um, so we're gonna pull these pumps and uh, first thing we gotta do is pull the power. Loosen up the strings. Mitch is over signing in. You gotta sign in here apparently. Supposedly only one is out or plugged. So in order to find out which one, I might break them loose and then actually turn them on for a split second, which is sketchy because it's shit water. For a split second, once we break them loose. Yeah, yeah. I can speed it up later. Send some, uh, some electric uh, techno. In case I get doused in shit. Oh, I know, that's why. All right guys, so I got these broke loose. That's the first step in uh, getting one of these unclogged. Uh, usually here, this is a check it, but I'm just gonna plug them both in for a split second, see which one pumps and which one doesn't pump. The one that doesn't pump is obviously the one that needs work. Uh, let's go to off in the middle and then up is manual. Problem. Big old rag. Oh man, that's nasty. Yeah. Gross. That's not supposed to go in a pump. So now we got to uh, try and make sure that. Well. But that's how you unjam a clogged sewer pump, if that's what's wrong with it. Well, I guess I got to drop Mitch back off, so that was about as much of an apprentice as I get. <laughs> so, 10 minute or 20 minute fucking. What is? Hi guys, it's Morgan here. Um, I got. I'm at a undisclosed location in Southern Oregon. And I wanted to show you guys what an abandoned pot farm looks like. Now that the pot industry is dying, I mean, there's weed everywhere. I don't know how to explain it. People are, there's more weed than there ever was before. But basically, you know, like the breakers. Look at this. I just realized this. There's a freaking pot plant going, growing from the previous year. Right there. That's pot. That's insane. <laughs> Quite a few of them. So this is an old pot grow where they, you know, people stopped making money on pot. They all thought they were going to come here and get rich. They were wrong. Creepy shit. I mean, most of the pot growers are pretty cool, but this place has obviously been um, trashed. So oh, I can't forget my auger. There's a toilet full of shit. Holes punched in the wall. You know, unfinished floor. Just smells like weed. Drawings on the table. Again, I can't really see where it's at, but 
it's in Oregon. And you know, I, I, it's not working against it, but check this out. This is a drying room where they would have dr dried the weed. Total illegal room. I mean, it's not, this is not to code. There's like gaps and they just added on this room and this is where they probably dry. One creepy thing <laughs> is there's the lock locks from the outside. So if you go in, you get locked in. I'm not sure if that was like, hey, I don't want you stealing weeds, so we're gonna lock you in here while you trim. Who knows, but I mean, crazy. And just like, this is like got a drain here. So this is another drying room. You can see all the strings. And beautiful property. Look at the views. That's where they would have used to have grown. I'm looking for the pump house. I haven't even been in these rooms yet. Hopefully. Oh, here we go. Here's the pump house and valves. Oh, here we go. That's what I needed. There's leaks. Like, I got fucking so much water leaking out right now. It's an old pot. This is insane. There's water everywhere. All right, so I just smashed them down. Because they're obviously abandoned. So I just smashed them and stuck them there. And there. Because uh, for now, weed's legal. But I guarantee carelessness. You know, letting that shit grow where people can grab it and stuff. Is not going to fly. Alright, I'm out of there. That place is sketchy, man. Um, you know, there's like... All right, guys, we are in Grants Pass, Oregon at a city park, and we're going to try to clear a urinal stoppage. Yeah, so in it's flooded, nasty. Um, you know, we can. We can try. Finally got it draining. Um, the city guy luckily had this thing called a. Good. And there's no more shit in here, which is good. All right, guys. Update. I'm at another park in Grants Pass, working on a septic pump that's over full. And this is disgusting. The pump's not working because we have food wrap. This is a septic, a, a pump basin. We have food wrappers, tons of hypodermic needles from drug addicts, pink Sharpie, condoms, bags, 
tampon. They should just close the bathrooms down. This is disgusting. And I got to work on it. That's just fucking foul. That's disgusting. Just nasty. There is a tie dye shirt in the pump. <laughs> uh, and I believe what I believe to be like a golden douche, but I'm not sure. A golden douche? I honestly don't know, but it's gross. The other There's ones, a like, pump. like the ones over there, that, like the ones that we would use over on that one, they actually have a, it's a plate on the bottom, and then it has a, a jam in there. Yeah, except for, I still don't like clogs. No, but I mean, it's, these ones are 220. The other ones over at PCS are 110. So 220s have a better torque ability. So we need to get something to like break it loose like I did earlier. You ready, Morgan? Yeah. She's alive! <laughs>